Good morning children. Now you understand the details written in the bill and also how to read a bill. So let us try making or generating a bill ourselves. Now coming back to the bills, as we saw in the story, the lady customer bought 1 kg of potatoes, 2 kg of tomatoes and 500 grams of onions from Mohan. Let us see the bill which Mohan gave to the lady. As we see, the bill was given to the lady by Mohan only as the bill indicates his business name Mohan's Vegetables and where was it located? It was located at the New Street, Hoshiarpur. Correct? And what was the date of sale or the purchase made by the lady? It was on 16th January 2013. How many things were bought by the lady? One, two and three things were bought by the lady. As we saw, the lady bought potatoes, tomatoes and onions. Correct children? So how many kgs of potato did she buy? She bought one kgs of potatoes and she bought 2 kgs of tomatoes. Lastly, she bought 500 grams or half kg of onions. So, if we put down the lady bought 1 kgs of potatoes, 2 kgs of tomatoes and 500 grams or half kg of onions. What was the rate or the price per unit for each item? The potatoes were sold at rupees 20 per kg. How about tomatoes? The tomatoes were sold at rupees 10 per kg and the last item which is onion. The onion was sold at rupees 16 per kg. Now let us ourselves calculate the total amount paid by the lady. So let's put down the cost of individual items. Cost of 1 kg potatoes was 20 rupees. Cost of 2 kg tomatoes was 2 into 10 as it was sold at 10 rupees per kg and the lady bought 2 kgs. Lastly, the cost of 500 grams of onions. 1 kg costed rupees 16 and we need to find the cost of 500 grams or half kg. So, let's divide it by 2 to get the cost of 500 grams of onions. So, what do we see? The cost of 1 kg potatoes is equal to 20. The cost of 2 kg tomatoes is also equal to 20. And the cost of half kg of onion is equal to 8. So, we got the cost of individual items. Let's see the bill again. How much did the lady pay for the potatoes? She paid rupees 20. And how much did the lady pay for the tomatoes? She paid rupees 20. Lastly, for the onions, she paid rupees 8. How much did the lady pay in total? If you add all the individual amounts, that is 20, 20 and 8, 
you will get the total. Let's do it ourselves first. So, we got the cost of 1 kg potatoes as 20, cost of 2 kg tomatoes as 20 and cost of half kg onion as 8. If we add 20 plus 20 is 40 plus 8 is 48. So, the total amount paid was rupees 48 by the lady. See, here also, if we add all this 20, 20 and 8, what we will get? We will get 48. So, our calculation was right and we got the correct total amount. Now, let us try to create another bill. This is Aman and he went to a grocery store. Assume you are going to shop all of these things. So let's try to make a bill ourselves. See this is the bill. Now what all things you can understand? Aman went to Chatur's Kirana shop. Where was it located? It was located at Laziz Bazaar Sehatpur. On what date did he buy or purchase the items? He did his shopping on February 20th, 2013. And the bill number which the shopkeeper gave him was 556. Here it is written 556. Okay. So, we will try to make a bill ourselves so that we know how much amount to take to the shop to buy all the things before going to the shop. So, what all things did Aman buy? Let's look under the description column. He bought 1 potatoes, 2 refined oil, 3 rice and 4 toothpaste. So, this numbering is done so that things don't get mixed up and you do not need to worry if you have all the things or not. Because, suppose if you have 7 things in the list but only 6 things are there in your bag, then that means you forgot one thing at the store so that you can collect the 7th item from the store. Now, will ourselves make the bill? So, what um, items were purchased? 1. Potato 2. Refined oil 3rd item was rice and 4th item was toothpaste. Now, let us see what all quantities did Aman buy? He bought potatoes 5 kg Refined oil 1.5 liter Rice 5 kg and toothpaste 1 piece. Let's write it down in our list. For each item the corresponding quantity. Potato 5 kg, refined oil 1.5 liter, rice 5 kg and the toothpaste 1 piece. Next let's check the rate or the per unit cost of each item. So, potatoes cost was rupees 10 per kg, refined oil was 90 rupees per liter, rice was 30 rupees per kg and the toothpaste was rupees 35 per piece. So, let us write down the rates in our bill. So, first we wrote items then quantities now the rates potato 10 rupees per kg refined oil 90 rupees per liter rice 30 rupees per kg and the toothpaste 35 rupees per piece now we can calculate the price of each item like the cost of 5 kg potato is cost per unit that is 10 multiplied by 5 and we get 50. Next cost of 5 kg rice per unit cost is 30 
and we multiply it by 5 as we are buying 5 kgs of rice. So 30 into 5 is equal to 150. Now we will calculate the cost of 1.5 liter of oil. Cost of 1 liter is 90 and the cost of 1.5 liter is first we will multiply 90 by 15 and what do we get? 1350 now we need to put the decimal in our answer here how many decimal digits are there in 90 0 decimal digit and in 1.5 there is 1 decimal digit so the number of decimal digits in the answer is equal to 1 plus 0 which is 1. So in our answer 1350 we put decimal after the rightmost digit. So we get 135.0 as the answer. Now we will find the total cost of all the items so we put all the cost and add them so 50 rupees 135 rupees 150 and 35 rupees let's add all of them 5 plus 5 is 10 we put a 0 here and carry over goes here next 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 3 13 plus 316 and add the carryover 17 so write down 7 here 1 goes here as a carryover so 1 2 3 and we write down 3 so the total amount is 370 so let's finish down our bill and write the total as 370 rupees now let's look at the bill again see here too the total is 370 rupees so now you know how to make a bill not just understand but even you are able to generate a bill yourself that's all for now bye bye children